Come to find your comfortable sitting position. <clears throat> when you get there, close your eyes. Start to move your skull bones so that they're right over your pelvis. Relax your shoulders and just start to take some deep breaths. Initiating the start of the sacred ceremony yoga practice this morning. You can make a slow, deep breath, your ujjayi breath, a soft whisper sound in the back of the throat. And just feel for the breath washing over, maybe loosening any tight spots. You are your holding this morning. Today we're going for lessening the grip of resistance. Sometimes we think that if we hold on tighter, we'll gain more control. But this is a false belief because we gain control when we're able to really flow through resistance. Most of our suffering will come from resisting change. And so physically, we can practice this in the body. And today, we're going to practice this by connecting to the lower parts of our body. So the root, the sacral, the solar plexus. This is the place where we generate the feeling of safety within ourselves no matter what the outside is doing, where we take in information, where we take in nourishment. I want you guys to feel for on your inhale, breathing into the pelvis. So let the breath travel all the way down into the pelvis and then exhale, let it travel all the way back up. That again, deep breath into the pelvis. Ballooning the breath, feeling for the breath traveling, and then exhaling and travel back all the way up. We're gonna work with a four part, equal part breath. So you can stay as you are. If you want, you can switch the crossing of your legs if you're in a cross-legged position. We're going to work to inhale for four, holding for four, exhaling for four, and then holding out for four. So take an inhale here and an exhale all the year out, and then we'll begin. So inhale for one, two, three, four. Hold the breath for four, three, two, Exhale all the air out for one, two, three, four. Hold the breath out for four, three, two, one. Do that again. Inhale for four. Hold the breath for four. Relax on the hold. Feel for softening internally. Exhale for four. Hold the breath out for four. Feel for softening on your hold. That again. Inhale for four. Ready. Fill out the loom of the breath into the belly, into the pelvis. Hold the breath for four. Relax the facial muscles and jaw. Exhale all the air out for four. and then hold the breath out for four. We'll do that again. Inhale for four. Hold the breath for four. Exhale for four. Hold the breath out. 
Now in this last round, I want you to work in whatever count feels good for you. So that could be four, that could be five, that could be 10. Work at a number that feels doable for you. Absolutely, with your eyes open. And we're going to fold back your left foot. So the heel comes towards the butt. If you don't want to do half your asana, you can always do a seated jhana with the heel close in towards the thigh. <clears throat> so in half your asana, the ankle is towards the butt. You're going to hold on to your ankle with your hand. Your right hand is going to come down, and you're going to relax your head and your neck, just finding the side bend here. So really press into the floor, slight bend in your right elbow. Let your head and your neck go, maybe slightly look down and feel for length in the side body, especially in the sacrum. So maybe that means rolling forward onto the sit bone slightly so that you feel good. Again, just so you feel for lengthening through both sides of your waist, letting your sacrum have a little extra space for the breath. Point through the feet and spread through the toes and then feel for your head and your neck relaxing. See if you can extend and expand your breath all the way down to the root, to the chakra, and to the sacrum. Good, release your left hand and reach it up so that it's in line with your shoulder and then lean it back. This is chest opener. So we're continuing to relax and release the upper body, the side body, working those muscles that help us to breathe and access our breath, expand the breath. Good, take your left hand and wrap it behind your back. Grab a hold of your clothing behind you, your waistband or the inner thigh you can reach. So getting into the shoulder, feel for the left side of your neck. Softening, opening. Once again, ballooning your breath into the pelvis. And then release the arm, extend it back behind you, reach to the fingers to grab your, reach your torso up, take your right hand, and help your head up. And then switch it out. You might have to kind of like work that leg around. So once again, you're coming either into a John heel or bring that heel back towards the butt. So we'll start with grabbing the ankle with your right hand. Left hand comes to the inside of the leg. And then just take that side bend over. Reach through the toes of your left foot. And leaning slightly back so that the shoulders come over the hips. Release that right hand, reach it up, line it up with your shoulder, maybe a little bit lower, and then reach it back. So when the arm moves, notice how the head and the neck want to tense or move with it. So just gently remind yourself to relax there. I think that the neck and the root are, and the pelvis are related. So when we work to release the neck and the upper body, we're also like sending a signal to the rest of the body that it's safe. Take that arm, wrap it behind you, grabbing a hold of your waistband or your clothing, your inner legs, relax your head and your neck. Just let it go.
good, and then release that arm, spread through the fingertips, reach through the hands, use the hand to pull your torso up using your left hand to help your head up. Good, and then make your way onto your backs. So we're gonna move to, move to abdominals, have a hold of your block. And then set your feet on the mat, bend the knees, and interlace your hands back behind your head. Take a deep breath into your low back, pick up your feet up off the ground. Hold the breath, press your low back down and lift your tailbone up. Exhale, lift your shoulders all the way up, Extend your right leg. Reach your elbows up towards the foot and pull your low belly muscle down. Inhale, bend the knee, come back to center. Hold the breath, press your low back down and lift your tailbone up. Exhale, extend your left leg up. Reach your elbows up and pull your low belly muscle down. Inhale, deep breath into your low back, deep breath into the pelvis. Hold the breath, press your low back down, lift your tailbone up. Exhale, extend your right leg up. Take your left leg into tree position. So you can use your left hand to help it. Take your right elbow and bring it towards the left knee. Pull your low belly muscle down, but press that left foot into the right thigh. Inhale, bend both knees, come back to center, hold the breath. Press your low back down and lift your tailbone up. Exhale, extend your left leg up. Bring your right leg into tree and bring your left elbow towards the right knee. Pull that low belly muscle down, press that foot into the leg and slightly up so that you're traction in the thigh. Inhale, bend both knees, come back to center, hold the breath. Press your low back down and lift your tailbone up. Exhale, extend the right leg up. Take your left leg into tree-like position with or without your hands. Bring elbow or elbows towards the left knee. Pull your low belly muscle down. Inhale, bend both knees, come back to center, last one, hold the breath. Press your low back down and lift your tailbone up. Exhale, extend the left leg up. Bring that right leg into tree. Elbow or elbows towards the right knee. Pull your low belly muscle down. Good. Inhale, bend both knees. Come back to center. Place your feet down. Widen your feet. And then start to knock the knees from side to side. And this is for you. So widen the knees. And you can go as slow or as quick as you need to go. Just knocking the knees from side to side, releasing the seat from focusing on releasing the tension around your hips. And then when your knees drop over to the left, let them stay. You have the mobility, you can take your left ankle and place it over the left, the right thigh or the right knee. So this will just help release the psoas, the top of the thigh, and also the little back. As you inhale, feel the breath move to the pelvis. As you exhale, feel your right knee sink a little bit deeper. And slip your left knee off. Pick the knees up, bring them over to the right. Same thing here. So your right ankle is going to come over the left thigh. Flex through the foot. And then feel for your left hip your left sacrum, releasing. Inhale with the jaw. Exhale, move slightly deeper. Your next exhale, feel for the right foot slipping off and then bring the knees back to center. Grab a hold of your block and place it snug in between the legs up against the pubic bone. We're doing frog lifting or V opener. So interlace your hand back behind your head. Elbows are gonna be in. You're gonna pick your feet up. Take a deep breath into your low back. Exhale, curl up, head, neck, and shoulders come all the way up. I'm not demoing this fully, but listen to my cues. Place your left hand on the block, and then exhale, frog your legs open. Curl the pubic bone up towards the face, send the thigh bones out, feel like your feet are pressing into an imaginary wall, and pull the low belly muscle down. Inhale, bring the knees back together, hand behind your head, lay your head down. Deep breath into your low back. Exhale, curl up, head, neck, and shoulders come all the way up. Place your right hand on the block, 
And then exhale, frog the legs open. Send the thigh bones out. So moving the feet slightly forward. Feel for pressing the feet forward. Curl the pubic bone up towards the block. Pull the low belly muscle down. Inhale, bring the legs together. Hand behind the head. Lay your head down. Deep breath into your low back. Exhale, curl up. Head, neck, and shoulders come all the way up. Place your left hand on the block. And then frog the legs open. Curl the pubic bone towards the face. Send the thigh bones out. Feel like the feet are pressing forward. Pull the low belly muscle down. Good. Inhale, bring the legs together. Hand behind your head. Lay your head down. Last one. Deep breath into your low back. Exhale, curl up. Head, neck, and shoulders come all the way up. Place your right hand on the block. And exhale, frog the legs open. Flex through the feet. Feel like the feet are pressing forward into a wall. Curl the pubic bone up towards the face. Send the thigh bones forward, pull low belly muscle down. Good, inhale, reach the legs together. Place the feet down. And then bring the hands at the sides, press it to the feet. Pick the hips up just one inch up off the ground. So it's like a low bridge. And we're doing this for sacrum health, for lower body health, right? Feel for how your lower legs are supporting you here. We're not clenching really in the butt muscles. Now lift a little bit higher so that you're not at your highest height, but almost in the middle. Still feel for how the butt muscles are engaged closer to the lower part of your butt and not so much clenching up towards the sacrum. Breathe into that spot. And then exhale, lift at your highest height if you want to. Light squeeze to the inner prop, to the inner legs on the prop. And still feel for pressing into the lower legs. Feel for releasing around the sacrum, not tensing there. And then exhale, lower your upper, middle, and lower spine all the way down. Remove your block. Drop your knees over to one side and press yourself up. So we are moving into dolphin with the hands <coughs> clasped. So we'll come down onto our elbows and the forearms, clasp the hands, relax your head and your neck. The toes are tough. It's totally fine to stay here if the hamstrings are tight. You don't feel like going up into dolphin yet, but if you're ready to go up into dolphin, straight through the backs of the legs, I would suggest maybe widening the feet, bending the knees, coming up onto the toes and sending the hips back. And you're here for five long breaths. Feel for sending your breath into the lower body and pushing the weight back into the heels. When you're ready, when you've done your five breaths, lower down onto the knees. And come to stand at the top of your yoga mat. <clears throat> Closing the eyes and just taking a moment in this upright position to reconnect to your intent. And we're going to move through some sun salutations, building heat here, but also with the intention of moving mindfully through the lower body. And breathing there, sending the breath there. Exhale, hands come to heart center prayer. Now reach the arms up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale for length, half lift. Exhale, step your left foot back, drop the back down and come up. Hands can stay down or reach the arms up. Squeeze inner legs together. Reach the ribs up and away from the hips. Plank position as you inhale. Lower the knees down, bend the elbows in towards the midline, come all the way down onto the belly. Low cobra, press into the tops of the feet, drag your ribs forward, slide the hands forward. Yep, drag the ribs forward, shoulders moving down and back. Exhale, pull the ribs through the arms, come all the way down. Hands under shoulders, downward facing dog, send your hips up and back. Step your left foot forward, drop the back knee down, and inhale to come up. Squeeze your inner legs together. 
reach up through the arms, reach up through the hands. Press it, step it forward, forward fold. Inhale all the way up, palms press. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, right foot steps back, drop the back knee down, come up. Plain position as you inhale. Step back, lower down the knees, or you can lower down in one piece from Chaturanga all the way down to the floor. Slide the hands forward, drag the heel of the hand back to pull the ribs through the chest. Exhale, come all the way down. Hands under shoulders, downward facing dog. Good. Step your right foot forward, drop the back knee down, and inhale to come up. Breathe into the pelvis. Exhale, step the foot forward. Inhale, come all the way up, palms press. Exhale, fold again, changing this up slightly. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step your left foot back. Come up to high lunge, so the back knee is lifted. Good, Just keep that squeeze to the inner legs. Keep reaching up through the hands, reaching the ribs away from the hips. Breathe into your lower body. Good. Hands come down to bring the front foot, step it back to plant. Lower down through chaturanga, knees down or lower down in one piece. Slide the hands forward, low cobra, press into the tops of your feet. Good, now widen your hands just a little bit. Yeah, good. Now drag your shoulders down. Mm -hmm. Now pull the heel of the hand back to come through. Yes, hands under shoulders, downward facing dog. Step your left foot forward, high lunge. Reach your arms up. Good, squeeze the inner legs. Feel for bending both knees equally. Feel for that right hip coming down towards the neck. Good, step it forward, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, palms press. Exhale, fold again, one more round, just like that. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step your right foot back, high lunge. You can always make modify and make this a lunge with the back knee down. Good. Inhale here. Exhale, step it back to plank position, rounded upper back. Good, lower down through chaturanga on your exhale. Slide the hands forward. Pull the heel of the hand back to bring the chest through the arms. Good, exhale, drag the ribs all the way down, hands under your shoulders, downward facing dog. Good, step your right foot forward for high lunge, inhale. Exhale, step it forward, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, arms reach up. Exhale, sit the hips back into chair pose. Reach through your hands and send the hips back. Good. Forward fold over your legs on your exhale. Inhale for length. Exhale, jump back to bent elbows or step back to plank. Good, come all the way down. This time your hands can stay underneath your shoulders for cobra pose. You're still gonna feel for dragging the heel of the hand back to come up. Good, keep dragging the ribs through as you exhale and come all the way down. Good, downward facing dog. Just take a moment here to recalibrate your breath. Step your left foot forward for warrior two. So we're gonna open up the arms and the hips towards the right. Bring the hands down for shoulder shrugs. So relax your hands down. Inhale into your upper back. Exhale, shrug your shoulders straight up, straight back, squeeze the tops of your shoulder blades together. Keep squeezing and lower all the way down. Deep breath into your upper back. Shrug your shoulders straight up as you exhale, sweep the middle tips of your shoulder blades together. Keep squeezing and lower all the way down. Really nice. Inhale into your upper back. Last one, squeeze the tops. Now squeeze the bottom tips of your shoulder blades together as you exhale, lower all the way down. Really nice. Extend the arms out. We're moving to extended warrior variation. So the left um, forearm is gonna come to the left thigh. Right hand is gonna wrap behind your back. So we're still in warrior two legs. Just warming up the hips. Notice if the breath is getting hitched anywhere. 
So you need to readjust somewhere in the posture to feel for having equal breath access everywhere. Good, slowly come out of that, frame your front foot, drop back knee down, extend the front leg. So we're coming into easy twisting nomad. In this pose, we're gonna reach the right arm, I'm just making sure that I'm doing this right, lift your left arm and then lean back. So this is an open twist. You're twisting away from the leg. Leaning back as if you're laying back over a beach ball. Feel for letting your head and your neck go in this pose. Good. Step it back to downward facing dog, but listen before you do that. See if you can let your leg, left leg go all the way back to down dog split. Bend the knee and open up the hip. So we're working the hip opener here. Now, in this hip opener, I want you guys to feel for bringing the heel close to your butt, like we did in the warm up with the half gear off the side bend, and lifting the knee up so the knee is coming up towards the ceiling. It's a little bit different than just like letting that leg go out to the side. And then finally, square your shoulders off towards the mat. Go to Mandy, so you do that. So feel for the shoulders coming down rather than that left shoulder kind of like opening up. Good. <clears throat> Hold for one more breath. And then exhale, put that foot back down. Maybe wiggle the hips from side to side. And then we'll step the right foot forward for warrior two. Open up the arms and hips. We're going to keep the arms out. We're going to move into kite hawk arms. So as you inhale, you're going to rotate from the shoulders. Lift the palms up. Gaze up. Exhale, rotate the shoulders forward. Gaze down. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, rotate forward, rounding through the upper back. And see if you can really get your breath to go all the way down into your pelvis. Do one more round of breath. Good, and then exhale. Let your arms come out to the sides. Just feel for that heat that you generated in that. Extended warrior variation, right forearm to the right thigh, left arm wraps behind you. Lay back over your own forearm. Relax your head and your neck. Off to the side. And feel for relaxing your palm and your fingers on your right hand. Where are you holding tension? Or where are you resisting in areas that can be relaxed? Feel for activating that back leg, sending the weight back there. And then on your next exhale, lower your hands to plane the front foot, lower the back knee down, and then extend that front foot up. We're coming into half nomad. Your left mm -hmm. hand is going to come way out. Your right <coughs> hand is going to reach up and then back. An easy twisting nomad. So I usually do this with the foot pointed because I like the stretch that I get in my ankle. But you can totally do this with a flexed foot. You might feel it differently in your hamstring. There's no right or wrong way to do it. You just feel for what's more effective for you. Release that top arm down, soften through that front knee, and then bring that leg, that right leg, all the way up and back to down the dog skin. Bending the knee, opening the hip. Feel for the same kind of action of that right heel coming towards the right foot, lifting the back knee up towards the sky. And you're going to feel it in your outer right hip. Right? You can even like move that knee around 
if it feels good. And place that foot down. Maybe wiggle the hips from side to side for any differences. Fine. Step your left foot forward and come on up. Reverse warrior. So warrior two. You're going to sweep that left arm up and back, up and overhead. You're here for one breath. And then we're going to straighten that left leg. It's a reverse triangle. Lower that top arm down, slowly come up. Turn the right toes in. We're lowering, we're gonna bend the knees, coming back to horse stance. Or goddess pose, however you want. So, in, what'd you say? <laughs> so, in this pose, you're gonna bring the feel for the knees moving backwards, right? And you don't want the torso coming forward, you want the torso leaning back. Press through the feet, maybe even lift through the toes. And feel for the ribs moving up and away from your hips. Stay for three more high quality breaths. On straightening through the knees. We're going to return to our warrior two position, but we're moving into head to ankle prep. So the right hand is going to come down to the middle of your mat. You're going to bring your left hand to the thigh, press the thigh away, feel for the left ribs opening and spreading so that the nose is moving towards the right foot. And then if you have more to go, you can walk your right hand back, maybe even grabbing a hold of that right foot. Key moves are to press your hand into your thigh and your thigh into your hand. Good. Take one more breath here. And then exhale, walk the hands all the way around. We're coming onto our bellies. You can definitely move through like a plank and lower all the way down, however it feels good to you. You're gonna come down onto your belly and you're gonna come up into a sphinx. So in sphinx, your elbows are directly under your shoulders. You're gonna bend your left knee so that you're coming into frog. Hopefully, not on people at home can see. So flex through the foot and then your knee is gonna be stacked directly over your ankle. Now, if you're not feeling this, you're gonna come down, make a pillow for your forehead and come lower all the way down towards your mat. But if you're feeling this, if you're good here, why don't you guys to feel for tucking your tailbone slightly. Flex through the feet and stay and breathe. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> So this is like half rob from like a sphinx position. If the back leg just seems yes, exactly. Good. Let that leg come out long. Let it meet your right leg. Good. Then the knee is gonna be windshield like for them from side to side. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just like there you go. And then step back to down facing dog. Send your hips up and back. Step your right foot forward when you're ready for reverse warrior. So we'll just do that on the other side. Sweep that right arm up and over your head. Good. Reach to that top arm and then extend through the front leg. So we're coming into Reverse triangle, squeezing the inner legs together. Good. 
lower that top arm, bring the torso up and turn the left toes in. And then we're gonna sink the hips down. Now, a couple different options here for goddess pose. If you wanna work with the hands up, work with the hands up. If you wanna work with coming up onto the toes, you can work with coming on up onto the toes. But again, it's all different varying levels of intensity. So choose where you need to go. We are here for about 10 breaths, give or take. Wherever you are, keep feeling for the chest, the skull bones lining up over the pelvis. Remember your breath, equal access. <clears throat> Last one. Exhale, lower the heels down. Straighten the legs just for a moment. And come back into your warrior two. Head to ankle prep. Lower the left hand down so that it's right in the middle of your yoga mat. Press your right hand into the thigh. Press the thigh away. And then start to walk that left hand back if you have the mobility this morning to do that. Keep pressing hand into thigh and thigh into the hand. If at any point the breath becomes hitched or you're unable to breathe into the pelvis, you're unable to access that area, that is a cue to back off. It's a cue to you, to your body, to maybe go back to something that's a little more accessible. Okay, we're going for access and full breath capacity. Sorry, that was a long hold. So we release. Walk the hands forward. <laughs> Just like going on and on. <laughs> Just like this. Lower all the way down to your belly. And then you're going to bring, you're going to come onto the sphinx. <laughs> Bend the left knee. Right, Lie right, right. Yes. I'm just doing the left because I want you guys to see. So, um, but don't do the same side. <laughs> Flex the feet and line up your ankle underneath your knee. Good, slight tuck of the tailbone, and if you want, you can relax and release your head down all the way. Good. Slowly start to bring your right leg to meet the left. If you need to bend the knees and reach your weight from side to side, do that. And then when you're ready, let your legs go out long, downward facing dog. Step your left foot forward for triangle pose. Might be helpful to have a block with you. If you need a block that goes to the outside of your left foot. Reach that right arm up. Feel for squeezing inner legs together, relaxing your head and your neck down. Good. Feel for length through both sides of your waist. Come on, can you lean back a little bit? Yeah, yeah, good. Moving into half moon pose. You can start by shifting your gaze down, softening the knee, and then walking that left hand forward, lifting your back leg up. Flex through that foot. That's what's going to help you balance. Engage through the back leg. Option to bring your toes towards the front of the room. So this is a hip opener. 
Yep, so bring your, like rotate your toes so they're moving. Yes, exactly. So all the way, and you're gonna feel it in your top, your right hip. So go slow here. Like it may not come all the way around, but this is also a hip strengthener. Yes, exactly, Jen. So if your leg is, now you're like in this L shape, hold that for three breaths. And then bring that foot down to meet the left. <laughs> I know, I know, it's a lot. <laughs> and so from here, we're gonna come into a standing balance, but it's gonna be an open standing balance. So you can come to stand, or if you want, you can just grab a hold of your toe and pick up your foot straight from here. But uh, I think it's the right. Yeah, we work the right. So I'm gonna say the right. So you're either coming from all the way down or you're coming from a bent like position where you're gonna reach for your toe or your leg. You don't to have to be your toe and extend through the leg. Um, I'm sorry, we're supposed to be going out, but we can do straight. That's okay. We did some hamstring opening. <laughs> so you're gonna open the leg out to the side. Feel for the right hip turning down and lifting that leg up. Good. Breathe into the pelvis. Notice what happens to the breath. Balance and melt. Take your time. And then bring your foot down when you're ready. And we'll just open up into triangle pose with the right foot forward. So nothing fancy. Just moving to the other side. Halfway pose, gaze moves down towards the toes, soften the front leg, flex through the back foot to lift it up. But if you want to try on this side to bring the open up the hip, or not open up the hip, but bring the toes up towards the front of your mat. Move slowly. It's okay. It doesn't come all the way around. <laughs> You're going to feel it. <sighs> Bring that foot down. And you can grab the toe if you want to. From here, we're coming up to the side. So opening, standing balance with the left foot. Good. Good. Nice guys. Work. I, I know. I know. Good Some size. days the balance just. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun. When you're done, slowly release. If you're playing, keep playing. And then step back to down facing dog. We'll just do the last little bit of this. Sequence. <laughs> Step your left foot forward. We're extended side angle. So we're coming down all the way this time. So the hand, of course, can come to a block, or if you can get it all the way down to the floor. Now, the right arm is going to come into a half line, or you're coming into full interlock. The left arm coming down and around. Now try to get that bind, that clasp, to go like by your thigh instead of like up your butt. There's no other way to <laughs> <laughs> I had a teacher that used to say like, Bermuda shorts, not thong or something like that. <laughs> like I always use that now. So keep leaning your torso back over that thigh so that you're not rounding forward, right? You're leaning more back. 
if you want, you can play with straightening that front leg. So it's like you're in this bound triangle pose. And then we're gonna come into a wide fold. You release the bind, or if you want, you can stay in the bind. It's kind of fun. Eventually we're gonna release the hands, but just feel for relaxing, releasing, all that work. And then bend through the left knee, straighten the right. We're coming into a half squat. So have a block because it's helpful to sit on a block for this pose. So it's like, it's essentially a half squat. You may not need to sit on a block. The right toes are gonna come up and flex, but you don't need a block. You're just coming into prayer. Couple different arm variations if you wanna play is a half bind here, a full bind here. You can extend your arms. Yes, exactly, Jen, good. I feel like I'm leaning forward. I know, you that. wanna feel like you're leaning oh, back more, but that's okay, I know. It's like really weird, the balance is strange. That's why the block helps, because when you sit, you're like back, but you're not like not on anything. But it is funny, like how like you just wanna go back. Hands come down forward to come out of the pose. We're just gonna pivot and step back to down and facing dog and just do those three poses on the other side. Nothing too crazy. Step the right foot forward for extended side angle. Half bind, full bind. Especially in this pose, I find breathing way down into the pelvis and even into the back leg just gives me a lot more space to rotate my upper body. Good. If you want, you can extend that front leg in the bind. But we're moving into a wide fold. And you can keep the bind or you can release the arms. Eventually you'll release them, but you wanna play with that transition. It's available to you. So find that wide forward bend. I like what Amanda's doing, so if you, Feel good to walk the hands through the legs. Mm -hmm. We're coming into the half squat or skandhasana. So turn the right toes out, the left toes come up. Grab a hold of a block, sit on the block if that's helpful. And the hands will come to prayer. I mean, they'll do whatever you need to do. You can have the hands down for balance. You can find a full bind here. Good. Or you can extend the arms out. Feel for if the hands are in prayer position, pressing the Elbow into the knee and the knee into the elbow for Jen. And then we'll just sit on our butt, bring that leg around, and we're gonna move into frog from here. So if you have like padding or a sweatshirt for the knee, if you're at home and you want to grab like a pillow or a blanket, sometimes what I'll say is like pad up by doing that with one mat. And then you're just gonna kind of like put one knee onto a pillow or padding. 
And then it's the same thing we did in our half um, space. So you wanna make sure that the knee is stacked over your ankle and the feet aren't coming in. If you don't need padding, I would say, I would say, Jen, come like flip your body. Yes, exactly. So that your um, your knees are like protected. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the wooden floor. Good. So come on down, you can lower down onto your elbows. Good. So mom, I want you to come more forward if you can. Okay. Can you bring your elbows forward more? More? Yeah, keep going. Good. Does it hurt? Like I like see a man. Oh, she's, oh, okay. She's really yeah. So come forward. <laughs> yeah. And good. Yeah. Good. So flex through your feet. Does it hurt? Well, I don't have the flexibility of doing this. No, that's okay. But does it hurt you doing no. this? No. Do you feel it in your inner thighs? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't like kill yourself. But um, I want you guys to feel for relaxing your head completely, tucking the tailbone slightly. Yes, very good, everyone. So the low back mm -hmm. tends to arch. When you tuck your tailbone, you can really feel for like the inner legs and the muscles around your. I yeah. oh, yes. sorry. I'm stuck here. Yes, I'll help you. I will help you. There's only one way. It's just collapse on your belly. Um, but yes, yeah, stay and breathe. Remember to keep tucking your tailbone. If anyone's not feeling this, let me know. Um, and I will. I can provide something different. Uh, but okay. Well, I would say when you're done, slide onto your belly, like come forward. Good. Yeah, exactly. There's no other way. And then bring the legs together and not the knees. Um, we're gonna just like, I know we're gonna come on to the back just to release the sacrum. We're gonna do a twist because sometimes the sacrum can get very heavy. In that pose, um, that was intense. <laughs> I know, I know. Good job, though. So you can like knock the knees again from side to side, and you can take any twist that you like. Really, if you want that gentle kind of twist that we did in the beginning, that one is great for releasing the psoas in the front of the thigh. Um, but whatever feels good, you guys know your bodies. You know what you know what you need. Just any sort of twist. So for our last pose, we're either going to do a forearm balance um, frog legs or horse stance legs or handstand form um, frog legs or straddle legs up from a laying down position. So I can come and assist if anybody wants to try to go upside down. If you're doing this at home, you can do this against the wall. Um, it's really nice to like just go upside down after all of this, like, you know, but you'll get the same benefits if you're on the floor, legs up, straddle. That's what you do from the floor. Do you want to go upside down? So for the forearm. Yep. So straight legs to a split or to like, so let me see if I can do it. So you're going to go up then, oh, watch. and then from, oh, okay. Yes. So I can, if you want, I could like stand and spot, but it's up to you, whatever. It'll be nice. Focus on getting up first and then the legs, you know, but everybody else is going to be laying and working straddle from there. Good. Kick up on exhale.
Now progress. Nope. Yes, I know it's crazy. It's it's like I'm weird. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you did. <sighs> Jen, you keep working. Everybody else, feel like if you need anything, any other movements here, maybe like Madhakanasana on the back, maybe like a sway from side to side, have happy baby. Whatever you need to kind of close your practice. Okay. And then let your legs come out long and your arms at your side. Do you feel like your neck is okay, Jen? Do you want oh, yeah. like a little neck release? Oh, I'm okay. Okay, <laughs> you're welcome. You can either stick with the dry or just let your breath find its natural rhythm. You should awesome. Now.
spent a lot on the head. Keeping my eyes closed, send the feet down. Putting your hands together at the center. Just taking a moment here. Gratitude and appreciation. The courage to face your resistance right here on this yoga mat or training ground for life. We bow forward to seal in. Thank you for practice today. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Namaste. Namaste.